Hello and please welcome to a special edition of the Voice of Mongolia podcast. Today is an Adam holiday day and we have a very special guest, extraordinary and plenipotentiary ambassador of the Republic of Poland to Mongolia, Mr. Kisistof Boyko. Thank you for coming and happy Adam holiday. Semeno, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, today is a special day, not a holiday, because of this fact I want to wish uh, on behalf of myself, all employees of the Polish Embassy and of course Polish government. Happy uh, Nadam. I wish to all of, um, all of you a uh, very good time during Nadam. We have a wonderful weather, prosperity and happiness. Uh, you've been working uh, for in Mongolia about uh, more than about uh, four years, right? Uh, more than three years, yes. Oh, more than three I years. And yeah. So, uh, how many times uh, did you see the Nadam opening ceremony? For me, it is the third time, but uh, for my wife, it is the first time. Mm -hmm. And always, I am very impressed. It's something wonderful. We will not see such ceremony in any other country. And you uh, traveled a lot uh, around Mongolia and what's the most uh, uh, interesting things to see the Mongolia? First, uh, I would tell you it's not easy to answer because it's a lot of interesting mm -hmm. things in Mongolia. Uh, just uh, five days ago, I participated in Bulgani, the local uh, Nadam ceremony. Mm -hmm. I had the honor together with the governor of Bulgan to, to open uh, uh, Nadam there but also Gobi Desert is uh, something, one of the most interesting places in the world. Uh, but I think the most important is to say that the Mongolian people, maybe it is the biggest treasure of Mongolia. Mm -hmm. They are very good, very nice and very friendly. Mm -hmm. And please tell us about the Polish national holiday. We have two Polish uh, national mm -hmm. uh, holidays. First, which we celebrated 230 few years is a Constitution Day mm -hmm. because uh, Poland, uh, Polish Parliament, uh, officially um, declared the Third May Constitution. Uh, it was the first democratic uh, constitution in Europe mm -hmm. and second in the world, so it's the first one. The second one, which we celebrated since 11 of November 1918, is a Polish National Day because 2018 we regain independence after 123 years of not having independence. Mm -hmm. Recent years, the bilateral cooperation between the two countries are still developing and. Could you tell us uh, more uh, detailed information about the bilateral uh, cooperation in overview? Of course, uh, we have wonderful um, relation. I want to remind that Poland was the uh, fourth country in the world recognized Mongolia in 1950. And immediately after this uh, uh, fact, uh, Poland opened uh, the embassy here in uh, Ulaanbaatar and uh, Mo uh, Mongolia opened it. Mogan Embassy in Warsaw. Uh, I am very proud that uh, the bilateral exchange uh, rise for the last uh, two years up to almost 100 uh, uh, million dollars. Uh, we are very active here uh, now. We have uh, uh, archaeological group uh, engaged in Gobi. They found very interesting uh, uh, things. Uh, there is a lot of uh, cultural events. Uh, just uh, one month ago, we organized uh, a very interesting uh, conference, Polish-Mongolian conference, on the, organized uh, on the Mogna State uh, uh, University. It was a very big success. Eleven professors mm -hmm. arrived in Poland. But what is the most important, probably the most important, uh, beginning of uh, December, Polish Embassy, to go, together with the conservatory, Mongolian Conservatory uh, of Music, will organize for uh, Chopin piano competition. Mm -hmm. I know many participants uh, from uh, this part of the world, not only from Mongolia, will participate, and uh, I hope that this will be a very great success uh, uh, for uh, Polish-Mongolian bilateral cultural relations. 
the person who wins the uh, competition uh, is going to, uh, to Poland where he will give a special piano concert in Jela Zowa Wola, mm -hmm. the place where Friedrich Chopin was born. Yeah, right. Yeah. And uh, you've been here about uh, more than three years and uh, do, you, do you want to go to any place uh, to see Mongolia? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, exactly. Look, there is a few places which uh -huh. I still didn't have to chance to, to visit. Uh -huh. I'm thinking to visit uh, Bayanulgi. Oh. I know it's a wonderful mm -hmm. place. Uh, I'm thinking to visit the eastern part of Mongolia. Mm -hmm. Also, I didn't. But you know, Mongolia is the country, very big country, five times mm -hmm. uh, bigger country as Poland. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not easy to visit all interesting places but uh, i hope i will have a chance to visit more as i already have opportunities to see well thank you very much and thank you for coming to our program and happy Natal holiday again thank you very much mm -hmm. once again i want to wish to all mongolian people happy Natal. thank you very much thank you here we end this episode of the special edition of the Nadam holiday of Voice of Mongolia podcast and thank you for being with us. Goodbye.